Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So this week's DIY was inspired by my children who insist on using my dining room chairs as their personal paper towels. I got tired of cleaning my chairs every week, so I just decided to reposter them. Since I did the chairs, I figured I'd do the table too. I'll have everything I used in the description box below. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to my channel. Stay tuned. To begin the project, I sanded down my table with some sandpaper that I bought from the Dollar Tree, which worked like crap. So I suggest you guys to skip the Dollar Tree sandpaper and get something of better quality. And once I finished sanding down the table, I wiped it off with a clean cloth and then I just painted it. I got this paint roller and paint tray from the Dollar Tree. And the paint came from Sherwin-Williams. This is the first layer. I believe I did a total of five layers. And don't forget to open up all your doors and windows for this project because paint is really strong. And after about a week of the paint drying, I added the polyurethane here. And this will just protect the table so that we can wipe it off, you know, when it gets dirty and things of that nature. And just because of the type of person I am, I put glitter inside my polyurethane. And um, so there's glitter flakes on my table. And I chose the gloss of the gloss finish. So it's actually really shiny. And I believe I did about four coats of this and I let it dry an hour between each coat as well. I actually worked on the chairs and table at the same time. So while my table was drying, I unscrewed the bottoms of my chairs and then I took them outside and spray painted them. I used a total of about four cans of spray paint to get the coverage on the chairs that I really wanted to. And this is the brand of the paint I use, the Rust-Oleum brand. Now here is the fabric that I got from Hobby Lobby. And I'm just folding it in half right here. I'm sorry that I'm off camera when I did that. And then I'm just going to cut along the edge to give me two pieces. And then I'm just going to do the same thing with one of my smaller pieces, fold it in half, and then cut along the edge. And that'll give me two more pieces. And then I just place the seat of the chair on the fabric and just place it how I want it to be covered. And then just the same way that I, um, the same technique I used when I did my tufted uh, bench, I just pulled the fabric tight and stapled it. And I believe I started off with about two and a half or three yards of fabric. And I had a lot left over.
but it's better to have too much than not enough. And to save myself the trouble of having to reupholster or clean my chairs again, I covered them in plastic. And I just went to Joanne's and I asked them, where's the plastic that people use to cover the chairs? And they directed it to me. I purchased three yards of the plastic and I just used the same technique I did when I covered the chairs. And that's it, guys. It was actually really simple. I love the outcome of how everything turned out. Um, so what do you guys think? Is there anything I should have done differently? Let me know in the comments below. As always, thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. And until next time, I'll see you guys later.